In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this beautiful sidebar header in your WordPress website by using Elementor. Here inside this header, you can see this navigation menu, which is auto-highlighting with the page scrolling. And here at the top, when you click on this toggle button, this header becomes narrow with only these icons. Cool, right? And this header is also perfectly responsive for our tablet and mobile devices. So without further ado, let's see how can we create this awesome sidebar header. Okay, so before starting, first of all, I want to say that to create our sidebar header on this left side of our page, we have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. So now we need to go to our dashboard. And from here, under templates, we need to go to this theme builder option. And to create a new header template, click on this plus icon beside this header. Let's close this. And here I will start it from scratch. But if you don't want to start everything from scratch, you can also get this as a ready-made template on my Gumroad shop. So you can get it from here only $2.99. And after downloading this, you can get a JSON file like this. So you just need to go to here and click on this template icon. And from this upload option, let's just drag this file to here. And after importing, you can see a file like this, Elementor Sidebar Header. So you just need to insert this on your page and click on this publish button. And let's set this for the entire website. And you can see after importing this template, your Sidebar Header is fully ready and it's also perfectly working. Okay, but if you don't want to buy this, you can also start it from scratch. So I want to delete all of this. And now to start, first of all, I want to create a new section. And I want to make it to full width and make the column gap to no gap. Set the height to full height. And let's also give it a background color. Now instead of make it full width, I want to place this on this left side here. So for this, let's go to this advanced tab and here let's paste some custom code. And you can see here I have give the width 250 pixel. And here you don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all of the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link on my description. So from here you just need to copy and paste that code on this right place. Okay, so now we need to insert content inside this. So first of all, let's take an inner section here and delete our the second unnecessary column. And inside this, we need to add our logo. So let's drag this image widget. And after that, we also need to add this toggle icon. So let's drag this icon widget after that. We also need an search bar, this search form, and to create this icon menu, we also need an icon list. And after that, we also need to take another inner section for our this bottom image section. And by the way, you can see this image goes out of our screen. This is shown like this because of our this top admin bar. But when we logged out of our WordPress, it will show properly. So don't worry about that. Okay, so to create this, here we need to take an image. Let's delete out the second column and insert an image and also an image box. But for this image box, we don't need this image. Here I want to just write down my name, web developer. Okay, so now before we start designing, first of all, I want to place these two intersections at the top and bottom. So go to here and make the column position to the stretch and make this particle alignment space between. Now let's go to this image and here I want to upload a logo. This one, let's reduce its size to 40 pixel. And here as I want to place this logo on this left and this icon on this right side. So I want to make its width to inline from here and also make its position to the absolute. And from the left and right also adjust its position. And with this logo, I also want to add a link. So make it to custom URL and give its link to the home page. 
so from this dynamic option make it to side url and after this logo for this icon first of all i want to change this to this bar icon and make its color to white reduce its size to 28 and like this logo let's also make its width to the end line and make its position to the absolute and you can see when we make its position to absolute our this size bar pulled out to this top so to place this at the bottom let's add some margin with that okay now let's go back again to this icon settings and here let's adjust its position from the right let's make it to 22 and also make it to 38 and now this toggle button looks good but i don't like this bold icon instead i want to make it much lighter so we can do this by using some custom css so let's paste it to here and you can see our this bold icon has been changed to this cool light icon and from here you can also change the gap between these three lines with this weight you can also make this more bold if you want or you can also increase its width from this width option and as i said you don't need to worry about this code snippet you can get all of this on my website so after that let's go to this search bar and here first of all i want to change its skin to the minimal and let's increase its size a little bit more then from the style tab here i want to change its background color to another blue color make this text color to white and also add some border radius and for this icon let's reduce its size to 14 pixel and here from the left i also want some spacing so we can do this by adding some left border okay now this looks good but here you can see i have give the text color to the white but this color is not perfectly white because by default here are some opacity given to this text so here for this icon i want to make it to fully white so let's make its opacity to fully one okay now that looks perfect so after this search bar let's go to these menu items and here you can see from here you can change this text also change these icons and also put a link for each of these items so if you want to create a multi-page website you can put each of your pages link to this link option okay but here you can see i have created a single page website and when i scroll through these sections each of the menu items corresponding to that section is highlighted here so we will do that by using the id of our pages so if we go to edit our this page here for our this section you can see we have give the id to home and for this section we have give another id here so basically we have give a id for each of our these sections and we will use those same id inside these links so here i want to link up this item with our this home section right here so here we have give the id to home i want to put this right here but before that we need to also place an hash symbol and like this one here i want to add this with the about section so let's change this text to about and here this one's id is the about we need to put it to here with a hash symbol and let's also change this icon and like this let's quickly change all of these items so after changing all of the content let's do some styling with this change this icon color to white make it size to 15 and align all of this to the middle and for this text we also want to make it to white color and from this typography let's make it to 14 pixel and here you can see i have already give the global font to poppins that's why all of our font is already set to poppins okay and here we also need some text indent and need some more space so make this space between to 10 pixel and now this is looks good but here i want to add hover effect with each of this item and i also don't like this bold icon so for this we also need to here put some custom css and you can see now this looks much better and with this top inner section the last thing we need to do we need to add some padding 
around that so for this column let's make the padding from here then let's go to this bottom inner section and here first of all i want to add some background color with that make it to this bluish color from its column settings also add some padding and let's change this bottom image let's reduce its size to 45 and make some rounded corner and from this advanced tab also make its width to this inline for this image box first of all i want to change this heading color to this white color and also make it white for its typography let's make the font size to 16 and for this one make it much smaller 13 pixel and make this alignment to this left side then from this advanced tab i also want to make some custom width to place this right after this image so here make it width to the custom and give it to 120 pixel and also make its position to absolute okay now that looks perfect so the next thing we need to do is when you click on this toggle button we need to toggle the width of our header and also minimize these other items so for this we need to add some class with some of the items so first of all for this logo we need to add the class logo and here you need to be very careful about these classes so we need to put the exact same classes which i shown right here okay so after that with these icons we also need to add another class sidebar dash toggle then with this navigation menu we need to add this class navigation and lastly with this one this inner section let's add this user class and after adding all of this we need to add some javascript code so let's search for this html widget and drag this right after this menu and here let's paste this code and lastly we need to go to this outermost panel section so let's open this navigator and from here this one is our this section and here on this custom css we need to paste here some more code and now if you click on this toggle icon we can see this working perfectly so now everything is okay so let's quickly check this for our tablet devices here let's click on this toggle device toolbar icon and make its width to 800 pixel okay on tablet here our navigation menu is by default closed because if we make a wider header here we cannot see properly our page content okay so if we click on here it opened and for tablet and mobile devices when you click any places outside of our header this will be automatically closed so this is looks good but here i only want to reduce this spaces here so let's go to this tablet devices and for this search bar let's reduce this top margin and go to this mobile device and here we cannot see our header basically for our mobile devices we have placed our this header outside of our screen on this left side right here so to show this on mobile i want to add another trigger button on this top right corner so let's add a new section and inside this here this is our trigger icon i want to just copy this and inside our this new section let's just paste it to here okay you can see it now here but we cannot see it properly so let's add some background color and also add some padding and here i don't want to scroll this with our pages so here instead of this position absolute i want to make it to fixed okay so now let's save this and refresh our this page so now if you click on this you can see our header is come from this left side but here you can see two toggle icons i don't want to show this for our mobile devices so let's right click on here and going to its advanced tab and from this responsive option i want to hide this on mobile and for this right icon i only want to show it on mobile so here let's hide this on desktop and the tablet let's save this and let's see it from our preview so i have logged out from my wordpress and open it on a new incognito window
so you can see it's also perfectly working here but here you can see at the top we can see some white space so this white space is basically comes from our this section so for this section i want to make its height to fully zero so we can make it from our this custom css right now let's save this so on our preview now it's 100 percent perfect so that's how we can create this sidebar header on your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video